really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Guys, to be honest, I lost my <laughs> my intro, okay? <laughs> I deleted it. Why? I don't know what really happened, but I deleted it. So I need to work on another intro. It could be different and not the usual. <laughs> I really do hope I remember how I made that one, but it's gone, it's gone, okay? So I have to be working on another, uh, on another intro. That is why you always see me here buying time <laughs> until my intro music just, you know, it finishes, okay? <laughs> Nice range, cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Thank you so much for being here, my new subscribers Thank you so much for joining the family Hello, where have you been? Thank you, please feel at home, okay? And my returning subscribers as always Thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice You do to me on this specific channel I most definitely will never ever ever take you for granted Even one bit So, where do we begin? Yes, yesterday I took a rest I said, hey, it's my time, okay? <laughs> It is my time. It is what it is, okay? If you know what time it is, then hello, it was my time. There is a lot happening, especially after the horses came. And I did play a clip right here because now things have changed, okay? Rocio mom <laughs> is no longer Rocio mom. <laughs> no longer partner. No longer girlfriend. She is now a wife because... Like I was here in the live that we did, I told you, now we expect things to go to the next level because, hello, you wanted a horse, you got three. What next? Mara is sending hints here and there that he wants a child and she's on there still smiling from the background, you know, because she's not ready to be having children. We said we don't care. I don't care. We want to see the children coming in. <laughs> if not, allow for polygamy, please. <laughs> Let's have someone who is ready to be having children. I mean, why are, we, why are you there? Why are you there? You got the horses, start popping the babies, okay? So it is what it is. It is what it is. So now we are in a... How do I call it? We are in a moment. We are in a phase of, you know, my wife my wife she will not say husband but he will keep insisting and saying my wife this my wife that now we are moving to the next level and speaking about wife we'll come back to rocio mom and rocio dad okay mr and mrs rocio's <laughs> before we get there there's also another wave of lovebirds right here in Nyabo Hanse, okay, this person comes from Mabera, Vidi Jonah, the wife, <laughs> flew in <laughs> to come and see him as well. And I'm like, okay, we are now talking about being wives, husbands, oh, my wife, my husband, uh, wedding rings, oh, we are going to be getting married. I'm waiting to see, but I'll be playing their clip way on. Let us start on this issue that I saw and I thought I needed to speak about it and it was about Rocio mom, okay? I need to fix you because I feel like the headroom is a bit too much and I'm not comfortable with that one, okay? That's the headroom, the space between my head and your screen up there, okay? That's what we call headroom. Yeah, I think much better. I'm sorry guys, today is just me and you just pushing you <laughs> up down <laughs> at all corners. So, when these three horses came, and uh, this was the first time they were showing us the horses, and Mara was walking with them across the compound, and of course guys, we've brought up the issues of clean your compound. The horses are going and stepping on tiles, broken tiles. This was a construction site. So I can imagine the nails and every other messy thing that could be there that could hurt these horses. We talk, you call us, oh, you hate us. We talk, you call us names. We are jealous. Tell us about what? I don't want a horse, okay? <laughs> Why would I want a horse? If you told me to furnish my house or pick a horse, I'll furnish my house. Because where do we sit? Do we just get out uh, to the compound and then back to Villa Medellin to the bed. It doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm not complaining. Maybe <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> so when that was happening and they went and were walking around, Mara calls for salt. 
no problem. He wants to give these horses some salt. And I was thinking there's always a bar, like a stone of salt that is given to animals. It's the first time I'm seeing the powder one because my dad, when he used to have the animals and used to do all this animal farming, he'd have that stone, the salt stone. I don't know if, I don't know how it's called, okay? For the animals to be leaking and after they leak, they just mind their business. The stone is still there until when they finish it. So Mara is given salt and it is in like salt form that is how i can say it okay it's not a stone so it's like in the small 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 you know how your salt looks like in the kitchen okay and he pours this salt on the ground and i'm like yo chill what up <laughs> why are you pouring this you know salt on the soil so he tried to give the animals feed it from you know his hands and rocio's hands and they were eating and these horses were licking this salt no problem and then the rest he poured on the ground and they left and you know, when the horses started going back to the main compound, they left this soil, they left it, like they left this salt on the soil, on the ground, and they went. And then addressed Alex to go pick the salt. For once I was like, excuse me, okay, I'm not understanding. But how did he address Alex? How did he ask Alex to go and pick this salt is why I am doing this video. Guys, you know when it's issues of, you know, wanting to mistreat someone because you pay them. I will come here and talk about it. When it's issues with children, I will come here and talk about it as well. But why are you addressing this guy in this way? I want to play us the clips so that we understand where I'm coming from because I looked at some comments and how people were addressing the situation because there were people who picked this issue up as well and I was absolutely not happy. So let's play the clips and then we come back. Talk about it some more, analyze it before we move on to the next thing. Okay? Like this video. <laughs> As tax is away, you're my Beshen, Beshen, it's not a cool of it to my Beshen. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Where? You know, you want to train them, but I will create something where they can easily eat. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> Rocio, Rocio feeds. Give it. But also, we have to be careful. We don't train them to be eating people's hands. Can we put it down here? Let me see. For now. Yeah. Yeah, you see? Rio. And that's, that's a lot. Just give it time. It, it will not leave that place now. I don't know. That's a car. Let me show you. We can pour, we can pour all of it here. The others will come and join it. Trust me. Hey, we are overfeeding you. No, 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 that one is going again down there. I'll bring it. So you hold this. This is dangerous if they eat this pepper. So hold this one. This one is not going anywhere, trust me. No, it's going. It's full. Rio. Rio. It has to smell fast. He didn't like it. Oh my god. Okay. The cows. The cows. <laughs> Second option. Yeah, but in, in the future we will have something where we pour it down. Yes. Okay. Rocio will start her training soon. When Rocio are you starting your training? Soon. <laughs> I think horses don't like you being 
It's afraid. When it's afraid, you lead it. Alex! I don't want them to get used to basins because they can eat anything they see inside there. I want to create one one specific place where we can have them eat. When they go there, they get salt. They eat. Yeah, something like this, where they always go and just eat. That's true. Because if we train them in these things, they will start looking for salt. Anything, they will eat soap, they will eat all these crazy things. Yeah. Alex Chumbi, I told you, but I assume. What is I just told Alex to get salt from there. But he's pretending like he didn't hear anything. Hmm? <laughs> what? Get ready, To Kimbia Ju. To Kimbia Ju. Chumbi, they only make a hook Alex. I told you, you're caught there. You're caught there. Ata ngombe wapati, ata kidish. But uspe, uspe hawa farasi, ata wale ngombe staki wazoeshwa hivyo. This is not an area. What are they doing? I, I just want to remove them from here. They really shouldn't be here. No, they like the shade. Yes. That's why. Always be... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's why I'm telling you. They can go to another show. So what is your own opinion about how Mara spoke to Alex? I did not like that he, you know, raised his voice on him. And he went, you know, he went on to tell Rocio mom, oh, our wife, <laughs> his wife, <laughs> that I've told Alex to pick that salt and he's brushing it off. And I was asking myself questions that really make sense. Like, for example, your wife has got hands. Mara, you have hands. You poured this salt on the ground. You can pick it. Your wife can pick it. Can we respect Alex? Respect Alex at all costs because, hello, at least he came out to say in his own video that he's taking care of, you know, what he's taking care of in that compound he said he was from waking up in this video and then he has to go get the goats because he's tired he works at night as a security guard during the day he's got to be taking care of animals the other day you had mara scream at him and tell him that his cows should be out at 9 a.m <laughs> when do you sleep you understand and his title on that video i'll put it on your screen i know if Mara ever breaks up with him, he'll come back and talk about this crazy title. Crazy, crazy. What was crazy? What did he mean by crazy? But I'm not saying I'm praying for, <laughs> for that to happen. But we already know how Mara just treats people around him when he doesn't need you. He trashes you here and start attacking you from all corners, including the titles that you put on your own videos, just like he did for Strongman254. Okay? <clears throat> so... It is what it is. <laughs> Stakes are high. <laughs> Stakes are high. Ross your mom with your horses now. Pick their poop as they keep pooping in that compound. Pick. You could have picked this salt. You could have. Why? Why are you people just walking away? And why were you dropping all this salt on the ground, Maron? For what purpose? So it is what it is. Respect Alex respect him and in the comment section i saw people argue that <clears throat> sorry is alex complaining he doesn't have to complain he doesn't have to complain and what i gather from these comments is wow you guys will be mistreating the people who work for you simply because they had nothing before you started paying them what a shame what a shame alex is a married man a family man with children could even be older than this guy but he's just tossing him around the way he wants 
if he coughs, he's supposed to be running around to pick his cough. <laughs> huh? If he spits, he'd rather be running around to collect his spit. Why? Because he had nothing. And now he's getting a house and he's being paid, so you mistreat him. I was absolutely annoyed that day, guys. I was really, really angered by what happened, okay? So anyways, the horses are eating Mara's grass. <laughs> they want to finish the grass. <laughs> he's saying that, oh, these things are really, really uprooting this grass. But of course, they will finish that grass in that compound. After they do that, what next? Where's the hay? He's still talking about, I'll go to a vet and get some, you know, something, some solution, some powder, so that we can wash the horses. I really do hope that you, you too, <laughs> wife and husband, will wash these horses in this period that you are there so that you also teach Alex how to be doing this because all this work is in his hands. Should you start traveling? So go do that. I can't imagine we're still talking about ticks all these days these things have been there in that compound it's absolutely absolutely saddening <laughs> or is it annoying guys okay <laughs> so it is what it is mara's rabbits are getting lost mara's small rabbits the baby rabbits that we saw some weeks ago are getting lost he was mad leave it guys let us play the clips before we come here discuss. They're supposed to be seven, right? I think oh, they are seven or one is missing. I think one missing is rabbits. Me, rabbits are missing? I think so. Because the babies, babies are too little. So like I found Five, I think. Hey. Yeah, and you know, I saw, I saw. Uh, Where's my uncle? You saw what? I saw today. I came here, and one of the rabbits was almost falling. You know, in this, they have space. Uh, there are only five. Let me try to find them. So here we have one, very small. Very very small. Over there. Oh, those are those are the smallest or, or the smallest, smallest, smallest. The yeah. last born. They are still here. Well, I I think so. Yeah. So like, but I see one there over there. Those are the smallest, smallest. Yes. Then we we'll go to the box, guys. We have rabbits here. I don't know if you guys can see. Only. Babies, three. Three over there, you know? They are something. only three. Only three? Because these are these are more babies than the others. So where are the rest? I think you know today I saw one of them almost falling out. Oh, no. no. Let's call Alex to tell us where. Look. You found? I found one here. Imagine, oh my you know, god. They fell off. Oh my god, they are so small. <laughs> they are so small. Uh, where is Alex and Uncle? You need, we need to show them. They fall, you know, these boxes. Look, they pass here? They pass here so easy. Uncle! How soon are you happy? How are you happy? How are you happy? This one was down here. Hey, boy, India. Chunga pole pole. Let my uncle check how many they are. Where is Alex? Nidhi Alex. This is. This is we went to look for these horses coming back seven of them are missing so it's something that one in the like is of it to pole pole jamen bakam pasue mura nina ndale hapa i'm asking them what's going on one in the most like to pole pole now that i'm going to do this hapa aache tu jamen nani wana pasue is of it 
Ah, tile number was equal to You know, they are breaking, they are breaking these things, and I will use them to make a house. I mean, some, some. Now they are looking for rabbits, small rabbits there. And you know what has happened is these rabbits were the small ones. They were around. Uh, there were fifteen. Now seven are missing. Seven, imagine. Half of them. So in their daily morning routines, <laughs> hey, that laughter. <laughs> a cough came in between. <laughs> in their daily morning routine, you know, when they walk around, especially now that they've got the horses, they've got to go around and start scratching their necks because they like that. <laughs> Maro just scratched, scratched the neck of this, you know, off-white one of the horses and then he removed his hands like this and his hands were black and i was like wow these things are dirty as hell okay so of course they need some scrubbing and a proper one and of course that scrubbing is going to be making them clean maybe they are really shiny <laughs> shiny they've got shiny fur but we don't know that but he goes around in this their morning routine in their morning routine they're walking and he's inspecting things here and there i still cannot understand why there are broken tiles all over the place these horses could be walking every other place every corner in this compound why do we still have these things lying on the ground but we'll keep quiet until when something happens because hello we've addressed it we address it you call us names let us just chill and wait okay so they're coming to where these rabbits sleep is it called a pen guys correct me i don't know and they are counting the little small ones and they can't find them they say there were 15 now there are like half of them are lost okay and on the ground there's a small little one that's just dropped from the pen or this house that they sleep in and i of course you know they'll start all this drama oh where's alex oh uncle oh where is this one where are my rabbits why can't i see them yes get on let's count no that's not the number there were this number no they are this number i want to know where my rabbits are going why wouldn't you <laughs> notice that your animals are disappearing <laughs> in your own compound <laughs> they're yours it's your compound like at the end of the day guys i don't care you are supposed to be in charge of your own things your own belonging in your own house in your own environment everywhere i will not come here guys and ask you oh where is one of my pins it was here i placed it here yesterday that's none of your business it's my business entirely entirely because it's mine if i employ someone to be looking after things in this house and things get lost don't entirely blame this other person blame yourself as well because one maybe you lost it too because you misplaced it but we'll keep asking people because that's the easier way out alex now will be in danger alex has to again say where the rabbits are going supposed to be running after the cows the sheep i don't know goats there are birds in there now horses and he is supposed to know where the rabbits are going now looking at the situation this little one small rabbit was found on the ground it fell off this structure that they sleep in my question is then why not fix this structure put a mesh from the inside or the outside so that nothing drops <laughs> nothing drops out guys these things are small and i can only imagine maybe many of them fell and they are wandering somewhere in the grass in this compound because it is what it is so why not fix where the problem is why do you want to put blame on someone all these guys on there alex uncle i want my rabbits why don't you fix the problem if you know if you know that they are dropping because the spaces between the timber, the wood, in their structure is huge and they can slip through, then why not fix it? It's simple. I was waiting for him to say that, okay, get a mesh and fix this thing right now today. But no, we are still looking for Alex. We are looking to put blame. Look for my rabbits because I want my rabbits. He's really pissed. So what now? Have you fixed the problem? You have not fixed the problem. Fix the root cause of the problem. Then these things will not be falling through. Those cracks and those spaces in there. What is it, guys? 
What is it? <laughs> so where are his rabbits, guys? <laughs> you think they are stealing them? Because in my own opinion, I think they are dropping down and just wandering about, looking for, you know, where is mom, where is home, and in that way they get lost. Or if not, like you say, maybe someone is stealing them and selling them, even maybe taking them to their homes, but it is what it is. Fix the problem from its root. And then once you see, once, there is no chance that there is space for your rabbits to seep through and you know there were 15 and now there are 7 or is it 9, then now you can raise your voice. Ask, where are my rabbits? Because it's either one way, you stole them or you took them, someone took them because they cannot fall off this structure, okay? So... We are going to <laughs> Tim Wango. <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> Last I watched her, she was packing to leave because she was to leave the previous video before the one she did. But I was surprised that she was on there again, still doing a live. And of course, she came for the reactors because she said reactors are stupid. Hey, she called us names, okay? And she says that all oh, these negative reactors, they can't show us where they're coming from. They can't show us, oh, they wonder how I progress. My mom prays for me. Who's told you that our mothers are not praying for us? Who has told you that your excess moms are not praying for their sons? The same mothers that you brought right here on the street, YouTube, to insult them abuse them tell them how much you hate their sons <laughs> with a passion <laughs> so you think your mom is the only person who prays for you all mothers pray for in fact all the children around the world even my mom when she generalizes and says we are praying for all the children you're included in that okay so stop all this nonsense of oh your mom your mama's prayers are powerful Mothers are praying for their children. African moms pray day and night for their kids. Okay? <laughs> so can you keep calm? And this is the same thing that Mara brought to the street and said, Oh, all the money they make, I hope that they spend it all in the hospitals on their sick children. He started becoming sick every two weeks. So please, Dimwango, choose your battles properly. <laughs> you don't want to be falling sick every two weeks. What makes you think your words are going to affect my living? Never! <laughs> I come here to agree or disagree on what you do, period. So it is what it is, okay? So, she was talking about how she wants to trade her Kenyan citizenship to Jamaica. She can do that in a flash, like given a chance. That's what she says. I would change my documents to be Jamaican, not Kenyan. And I'm looking back, I'm laughing, I'm like, oops, too late. <laughs> You're already Kenyan. <laughs> You're Kenyan. It can never change. Jamaican men, this Jamaican man that. Let me remind you that you still owe Jam Tours 7,000 USD that you scammed him. Ah, we've not forgotten. <laughs> Jamaican men are very rich. Ah, you are going for the riches from Jam Tours. I will not forget that story and I'll keep reminding you. Please come back to your country because you have a case to answer. Stop running away. <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> Let me play you those clips before we come back here and look <laughs> at another issue, okay? Saying, lol, African reactors should wake up a little bit earlier this morning. Too much tea to end this January. Coco abandoned by D. Kino. African reactors are the most, I don't know what's the best word to call them. I don't know, but they need, they need to get a life. That's the only thing I can tell them, you know? And I hate the fact that they complicate, not complicate, but they twist and change things the way they are, you know? That is, that is being stupid. That's, that's foolishness because it's pure lies you understand the tingle so i hate it but you know this is what happens when you're a star everybody wants to
and personally it's a blessing to be an african but sometimes i wish i wasn't born in a place where p- people are full of negativity you know that's what i really don't like but I'm always positive but those negative people even nobody's watching their content like imagine if D takes a break those people have nothing to say their life is boring like w- what a pity negative negative people don't want to listen to negative the world needs positive people the world need people who can make the world a better place but negativity you go nowhere and imagine making a living out of negativity that money they just spend it somewhere else trust me just by painting my name wrong they make a living you understand so how i pray that money they take it to hospitals and all those other places because they don't really deserve it you understand So guys, in short, Dim Mango cannot tell me as a reactor, nothing. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> you love to pick her own tingle because she uses her words right here and we talk about it and she's getting pissed for who? You keep doing you. 98% love you. Why do you care about what 2% tell you? I don't even care what people say about me. <laughs> I keep my eye on the prize. <laughs> my niches only. Mind your business. If you are here on the street, guys, and they call themselves public figures, ah, oh, how many times have presidents from your own country, in fact, even this current one, people talk and you know, do you will do everything, anything, say anything because you're entitled to your own opinion, okay? <laughs> if guys, if I were to be judged, I'll be judged by what I said. Period. So who do you think? Who do you think you are that people cannot talk about you? You only want praises and no one to criticize or challenge what you bring right here on the street. Pay jam tours his money. Jamaican men are rich. You went for the money from jam tours. And then scammed him and took this apartment, writing it under your name, 100%, erasing or not including his name in the documents to this Airbnb that you are secretly running, you and your brother. No one even talks about it and it's still running. Shame on all of you. What is it? What can you tell me right here on the street? So, <laughs> let's go to another husband and wife, Vidi Jonas' wife flew into the country to meet with him so he came to Nairobi. Let us play you these clips because I want to advise Vidi Jonah on something. Something. <laughs> I want to advise him on something. On how to handle a lady because we all understand he's from uh, Mabera, a village next to Nyabuhanse. And if you don't know who Vidi Jonah is, he's the guy who brought Mara two goats. Uh, two goats and some chicken immediately he landed when he had said that he was not going to be doing collabs with especially villagers when he came from the united states he wanted to come home and relax and finish his villa before this huge <laughs> they failed <laughs> they failed <laughs> they failed <laughs> Villa Medellin party and is the one who broke the code of I am not receiving any gifts because Mara received gifts and did a collab with him and he set pace for the others to be doing so bringing animal cement you name it clothes <laughs> and all those shenanigans that you guys went with for collaborations with Marwa so the wife came let us look at some clips and then we come back discuss this one i want you to give me your own opinion okay let us see if it is on the same page or it's not and then we'll come here and close this because it is what it is you know uh there's this type of you know good uh you know what i mean i mean these guys <laughs> i mean this so let's open it you know yeah my wife is just there chilling eh? observing the environment you know so 
Baby, what do we call this? A corner or corridor? A balcony. A balcony. So my wife is just chilling at the balcony, you know. Uh, baby, what are you observing now? Just the... Uh, uh -huh. The fun. place? Yeah, the environment. The environment? Yeah. Yes. How do you the see surroundings. it? surroundings. Uh -huh. It's very nice. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. Compared yeah. to... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, definitely very good. The, the weather is better. The weather is better. Yeah, and I was just trying to see, do I need to bring something, you know, to wear? Like a jacket like or a something. Jacket, uh -huh. But no, I don't think so. You don't need to no. use a jacket? No. Because the weather here is good compared yeah. to... But look at this guy, look at the jacket. Like, what is that? That's my jacket. It's oh, really plastic. I know, yeah. well, how many degrees? It's 20 degrees <laughs> Celsius. Like, you know me, baby, you know me, yeah. I've never traveled. And I'm a village. I told you I'm a village boy. Yeah? yeah. So, when I come in town, I just like, you know, using jackets. Using jackets, yeah, but yeah. it's 20 degrees Celsius. It's like uh, where, where I live is the height of summer. <laughs> we are not the same. <laughs> you're not the same. And you're wearing a winter jacket. I love you. I feel, feel being with your man, babe. I feel good, but you don't have to bring it so close. No, oh you look my good. Goodness. I know. <laughs> uh, guys, my guys, you know, this is my wife. Uh, the, actually, baby, yeah. um, how will I make it? Will I make it to you as husband and the wife or uh, as uh, people who are just dating? What will you do? What will you do? I don't know, I'm stop. Um, <laughs> no, just what did you decide? What did I decide? Mm -hmm. I love my wife. Yeah. I love you. And you look beautiful. Yeah. Stop. I'm a shining baby. Shining. Yeah. So guys, you know, it's been so so long, <laughs> yeah. Since me and my beautiful woman, uh, you know <laughs> You know, we've been talking on um, on phone. Uh, on the phone, because on, on the phone on WhatsApp, because our relationship was uh, kind of uh, distance, a uh, long distance relationship. But now, see, this is the smiling baby. Oh, finally, eh? I'm here. Finally, she's here. Yeah. Uh, and to those guys who said, uh, <laughs> what did what the, what were they saying, baby? Oh, there was one person uh -huh. that said, what did they say? Uh, uh -huh. I forgot, but it was something mean. No, they said so many things, so many mean things. But that's all right. Yeah, but uh, to those people who judged us, uh, <laughs> yeah, we are finally, we are finally here together, guys. We have a lot of things to do. We have a lot of videos coming out and. We have a lot of things to tell you guys, so all I want to tell you is that just keep on in touch. We're vibing, we're vibing, we're making it better, better. Yeah. Have you not sit down also? No, mm -hmm. yeah. but I think what? I'll, I'll empty uh -huh. the, the machine when we empty come back. Empty the machine? Yeah. Connie, for how long does it take this, to oh, finish I that, that I put a long wash, uh -huh. I think that so one thing I did notice about Vidi Jonah is that he kept saying, my wife, come here, my wife, do this, my wife, oh, oh, my wife, there's no problem, okay? <laughs> you guys are adults, okay? <laughs> I'm not here to judge. You are adults. And when they were having their conversation at some point, you know, there's a place he spoke about um, uh, Nigerians. And the wife was not really pleased. And she said, you know, oh, some reactors are from that country. They could pick this issue. So be very, you know, keen on how you, and what you portray or what you put across right here on these streets, social media, because they can come back and bite your boot. Eh, okay. So anyways, this guy says, my wife, my wife, my wife, I want to kiss you. And my wife does not feel that vibe she says she's not comfortable doing all these things on camera but he'll keep insisting so in my mind i'm thinking he's a young guy he wants to show to the world his friends must know that he has a mzungu <laughs> wife okay okay she says she comes from ireland her accent is a bit british to me but he says my american wife in his titles okay so they've been doing videos here and there okay she she does her video on that other end wherever she she was shooting her videos from not this country and he does his videos from the village and then he'd merge the two clips okay he'd put just one video of what she said on the other side and what he said on here and he started saying from a while back that you know i have a wife my wife and he came to say in another video that you know people are not happy they even spoke when she came that people thought that you'll never come they thought that this was a joke but now you're here and we are planning for you know 
marriage and all these shenanigans on there. All the best, like I said, you adults. Now, VD Jonah, stop pushing it. Okay? If you call her wife, just call her once, two times, then that's it. All these insisted kisses that she's pulling away from, she says, don't put the camera too close to my face, put it far from her face. That question, like, my wife, what are you looking at? It's an obvious question. Stop asking obvious questions. Stop. And let us see you, like, helping around to spread the bed, for example. She was doing all that by herself and you're just filming her. <laughs> I think she, he got the vibe at that moment because she said something and he was like, okay, let me leave my wife to do her own things and then... She goes to the balcony, he's calling her, my wife, what are you looking at? It's obvious. She's looking at whatever is just whatever side she's facing, okay? So stop it. Stop all this, my wife, this, my wife, that. She says she's not comfortable. You know, breathe. Just let it be. Be natural. Let it flow. If it's meant to be, it will be. <laughs> if it's meant to be, it will be. Wife, my wife love rings. I'll put for you a ring, eh? <laughs> a good ring. I'm, I'm good just, ring. I'm just waiting for the ring. Yeah. You don't worry. Okay. And, I, and I'll now, and I'll now be walking with this, baby. I'll now be walking. You know, you know when I put you a ring, I'll now be walking with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think you should get one of these. I'll, I'll get, I'll yeah. get one of these. What do you think? It's a good, yeah, this good is choice. good. Yeah. If I put a ring for you, I will want to be with this, you know, yeah. yeah. I want to be a man now, <laughs> a married man, yeah. So I must lead with this, man. This is a sign of leadership, you know, yeah. Nice, man, nice. Did you hear? You don't have dignity now because you're not a married man. You have to be married. So we get married get and you'll, full you, you'll have dignity. No, I'm you're, married. You're a man without dignity right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have dignity. I have I, dignity. I, you and be, soon, you should be ashamed soon gonna, of yourself. The level, soon you're going to get married. Don't, the don't, level of dignity. don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. He has dignity. Mm -hmm. but, the very level, low, yeah. but the level oh. of dignity will go uh, up. Now his level is like, very this low. This is my favorite one. Oh, like this, this, yeah, this, this one. one. This oh, one. So this wife, one I think is a maybe. I like this one. Yeah, you like this one. He says it's a maybe. And put in the basket. Makes the things as well. <laughs> and my wife makes what? His wife. Uh -huh. the, like this oh, kind his of wife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's your wife who makes all these things. No, not all not of them. All but these. Uh -huh. You know, all of us, uh -huh. we make different items. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's becoming dark suddenly. The sun is going down, okay? So, guys, I don't know what you think. What do you read from that clip and her sentiments towards him? <laughs> what? my wife oh my god my wife my wife okay to be honest uh to me she looks older than him okay she looks older than him and uh there's no problem like i said they're all adults okay and she looks like she runs the show most of the time i could imagine i mean it's expected okay but I like the way she just got into the country and she is all over the place. She's asking things like she's done her research. She comes in and says, I want a place I'm going to be eating ugali and yamachoma. Period. Until they find this place. Now, this other guy is not from Nairobi. So, of course, he does not know the ins and outs. Okay. But this lady just ran the show. I will watch them. I want to see what happens because they're talking about going to the village so I can imagine they'll be going to meet Vidi Jonah's mom. Of course, Vidi Jonah's mom knows about her, okay? Simple. And I think she's been sending in some money just to improve or uplift the stay or the livelihood of Vidi Jonah's, you know, mom and himself. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. Me, if you're adults, do what you want to do, okay? But I really, really, really wish them all the best because they are adults, will be here to bring you <laughs> all the details or anything that, you know, is worth talking about right here on the street. So if you are not subscribed and would love to subscribe, please, 
always know that you are free to do so yes you can leave your comments down below no insults i didn't insult anybody so do not insult me and my content besides you have a youtube channel you can always go there and create your own content about me if you like but if you wait for me to talk about you i will not because it is what it is you're not my niche <laughs> i'm sticking to my niches okay <laughs> and of course guys if you haven't liked this video please know that you can do so feel free to like it and hit on that notification bell so that you don't miss on my tomorrow's video i'll catch you in my next one bye bye go